But it's quite an unusual rock formation, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit, a bit odd, really, because it's kind of just sat in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? Yeah. Quite the view. Let me just do a quick pan. Uh, if you're going to do it, I'm going to go up there and do it as well. There they are, in the distance, coming towards us, Jim and Vaughan. That's the coach park where we've parked up to start our walk. And this is the Longshore Estate, which I know quite well because I've been here before. At some point I'm coming over to show the ducks because they're very friendly over here. Probably because people feed them a lot. But this is the first... It's quite unusual, this formation of rocks here, because it's kind of in the middle of loads of fern and country and field as you can see I'm on this pathway following Anthony who's a lead ranger and as you can see it's just fabulous countryside look at that flower look at this right let's get a Bit of a climb up going. There we go. I'm actually wearing the wrong shoes for me. These are my walking trainers rather than my proper hiking ones. So I'm going to be a, bit, a little bit more careful. Louder. Getting up that one. They're getting closer, the boys. Let's keep going. Apologies for the heavy breathing. Not been out for a while. Let's just go around this way. Get myself a bit. Oh well. Good grip on the trainers. Yeah. Right. Walk over and have a look here. Wow. You can hear the wind going, so there's an elevation. Shut that. Every time I go out with you guys walking, I see something completely different. <laughs> Every single time. This is absolutely the joy of getting out here, is that there's so much you can see. Completely different type of view to everywhere else Longshore where Duke of Devonshire lived Let's have a as look. you can see hospital during the war hospital during the war as he said yeah oh okay this is a World War II hospital oh. now the interesting thing here for you if you can see well you may not on the video but where the house is you can see just in front of it there's a uh, there's people walking along yeah well, that's actually the original road and the story behind that was the Duke, uh, who lived there, I mean obviously they were loaded with money, uh, he didn't like the fact that all these commoners were, were walking in front of his house oh, right, on okay. the way down to Bakewell, yeah. very often with the wares to sell at the market and what have you. Mm. Uh, so literally he had the entire road diverted in a loop to come down here, which is the road you can see in front. Oh right, okay, yeah, yeah. And the reason he pulled it away from it was so that it was away from him. people, so that he wouldn't have so, people outside his, his walls. So hold on, that bend in the road there. Yeah. Oh, that bend in the road there goes all the way around. It does. And just so he, do, he just did that to get it away from the house. Yes. You know? So that he wouldn't have to put up with commoners. <laughs> <laughs> and then if you look, well, like muck commoners. If you look here, this is Upper Burbage Valley. Yeah. If you see the big the big white path. That's the yes. remains of what they called the Duke's Drive. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, and yeah. What he used to do was, uh, quite an interesting one, he used to get his visitors into his carriage and they used to drive up there. If you go to the top, there's remains of old gamekeeper's cottages. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, and they used to stop there for a cup of tea and then they'd turn it round so if you were sat on the left hand side you'd see all this side and then they'd turn it round and then you'd see all the other side ah, so he could show all his valley he could show off his valley yeah, yeah definitely and that's the way it was 
that famously in 1927, the Yorkshire boat, uh, Yorkshire water board was going to flood, make a reservoir. Right. Out, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And the Ramblers took them to court in Sheffield and and won it. So. Wow. Yeah. 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 I remember you telling me that. That's, yeah, that's nearly 100 years, isn't it? Now. Yep. A long time ago. What a spot. One of many, no doubt. It's just, I, I, I just love the way that you've got these rocks just, <laughs> you've got all this fern and then suddenly you see, you see a rock prominent out of it. It looks like some big giant kids just chucked loads of pebbles all over. I have never seen. What is it? Uh, a plaque to somebody, I don't know what it is. Quite straightforward, so we just go that way down or this way down? No, we'll go down, yeah. yeah. Any which way you go. <sighs> Let's have a look. When you go in down, you always find a way out. <sighs> Let's go have a look at this plaque. Here we go. This is supposed to be in this supposed to be where the Neolithic settlement were in. How little? Owlator. Right, okay. Owlator, this viewpoint and 25 acres around forming part of the Longshore Estate are given in memory of Richardson Evans, 1846 to 1928, one who greatly loved the beauty of this world and strove by thoughts and deed to preserve that beauty for others that they may build from age to age an undefined heritage. Wow, there we have it. Oh. Well, you just get that to be hotter by then, we could watch around a cricket. There we go. You're on peak physical form, you guys. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, <laughs> all paid for. Wow. All paid for. I thought they were rangers. It turns out they were timber merchants. <laughs> it's, it's our winter. Um... Oh, yeah. You're getting ready for winter for hibernation, yeah? Absolutely. Yeah. He said in the middle of June. No, we don't hibernate. We just December. put the extra fat layer on for warmth. Yeah. yeah. Winter's yeah. our time. There we around. go. Yeah. This is how you know your rangers can blag a good blag, that's what it is. <laughs> we have answers for everything. Not our. Right, so we're moving on guys and I'll uh, call it a draw there and we'll see you on the next one. Carry on the trail.